So it's been about a week and a half since I was here last. Uh, irises are starting to, to grow. Uh, the plant that I, grape that I transplanted looks like it's starting to come to. All of them are coming to life now. Uh, I finished putting all the support wires in. I still have to tension a few more. But I've started doing some of the covering. But just in time, because it looks like some of these are starting to move up. I trimmed these very heavy. I had noticed that they didn't have water. So I got water to them. And they're still alive. This one actually had quite a few vines that were running, so I spread them. We'll see if they uh, sprout or not. I'm not sure they will with the condition they're in. But some of these are doing okay. You can see the flowers starting to form on pretty much all of them right now. I have more straps to go across the top but we just decided to take so many a paycheck in the bottom here I took out the water lines that run across I still have to pull up some old things I had and uh, so this will be kind of a covered open spot here But everything's, the raspberries are heavily flowered right now. And the strawberries, I got these stupid weeds in them that don't pull the roots. But there's a lot of, they grow a lot of small berries, which the small berries disappoint me, but they turn out well. Like I said, the irises are coming on strong right now, and I have a couple that I really should try to figure out how to uh, dig out of the mess they're in and maybe transplant. There's this one I bought some 20 years ago, and this bright blue one. And this was one I thought was dead, but it's just slowly come back. This dark burgundy. Uh, this is my hot pepper that seems to be not gonna make it. But I have, I think one popped up over here, so we'll have to see what kind it is. And I have cilantro and dill forest kind of everywhere down here right now in the middle of all of the beets and peas and stuff. So no need to buy cilantro for a while. The lilacs quit blooming and they're dying back. Uh, the tomatoes are growing well. You can see I got the water covers off of them, water jackets off. The cucumbers these will come off if you're wondering but the cucumbers will uh, we'll see if we can get them to grow up this this was a recommendation I had online so and now I'm trying to keep on top of all the weeds all the rain is just causing the weeds to come up all over so it's just kind of a chaotic mess I have flowers back here they grow about six to eight feet tall And looks like I broke that off walking through here with the little black currants. And I'll have to come in here with some Roundup and try to get rid of this Virginia creeper. It kind of overwhelms everything back here. So, but I'm guessing we'll have a lot of grapes this year with all the 
with all the trimming I did and all the flowers, you tend to get maybe fewer bunches, but bigger bunches. So you can see this one is really strong, really strong with quite a few growing up. It so we'll see. We'll see how everything's working out. But we'll, just trying now to finish a little at a time and stay on top of the weeds. So that's it for today.